I have run the standard customer sales analysis report from Sage Maz Intelligence. I am going to customize this report layout by collapsing the detail in the layout and adding a slicer to filter and analyze the customer sales in this report layout. To create a slicer, you will need a pivot table or pivot chart associated with the data source. In Excel 2010, we find a new command under the Pivot Table Options tab called Insert Slicer. This will activate the Insert Slicers dialog box where we can select the dimensions we want to filter by. Add the Slicer item code description. You can now configure and customize your specific slicer. Slicers are typically associated with the pivot table in which they are created. However, you can also create standalone slicers that are referenced from online analytical processing cube functions, or that can be associated with any pivot table at a later time. Let's have a look at the slicer. Let's select on widgets. You will notice that only American Business Futures and Breslin Parts Supply are purchasing widgets. Let's have a look at who's buying desks. Only Shepard Motorworks is buying desks. What about the desk files? Which of the companies is buying the desk files? Again, it's your American Business Futures. Take a look at the modems and see which company is buying modems from you. Again, American Business Futures. Slicers are easy to use filtering components that contain a set of buttons that enable you to quickly filter the data in a pivot table report without the need to open drop down lists to find the items that you want to filter. You can now create and link this template to your report in the Sage Maths Intelligence Report Manager.